Okay, uh, you're going to use one of these tools next. It's called a router plane. Um, we've got two of them. They're both kind of similar. They work in the same way. Uh, what we've got at the back of the tool, we've got this lock nut. So you loosen that and then the big uh, nut at the top adjusts see the blade there, adjust the blade up and down. Once you set the blade to the depth that you want, you lock the nut at the back. For now, don't worry about this one, that little one. It's these two that, uh, it's these two that you're going to adjust. Uh, the other tools, very, very similar. Um, lock nut, so you unlock, adjust the height to the depth that you want, and lock. And uh, the blade protrudes through from the bottom there. Uh, obviously, with the blade sticking out the bottom of these tools, uh, be careful when you place it down on the bench. I would suggest placing it on the edge, or like I've done here, place it on a scrap bit of timber, because we don't want to dull that blade. And so what we do, place the plane, or unlock, place the plane on your project, and we're going to adjust the blade down so it's going to be just cutting the, the tops off all those rough bits. So we do that, and then short, sharp cuts forward and back over the whole thing. If I can turn it around, and I can come back towards me. go deeper so unlock wind it down a little bit deeper lock it off and cut again I think I could take a deeper cut now it's probably not going to be great on the edges uh, you'll have to clean that up by hand with a normal chisel. Unlock, then go down again. Basically, we want a nice clean surface here. Still got some marks there from the mortiser. So I'm going to go a bit deeper. Unlock, wind it down a bit deeper. Hopefully this will be it. If it's stopped cutting, it means you've um, got the timber all at the same depth. So as you're cutting, you're kind of pushing down into your timber. That's come loose. Make sure it stays tight.
Okay, so that's the end result. Should be nice and clean in the bottom. I've got a bit of cleaning up in the edges. Uh, you do need to be careful on the edges. You don't want to push into the sides too much as you're cutting. And uh, likewise in here. Actually, I think I could probably go over that once or twice. There's a couple of little scratches there. And uh, I'm going to need a chisel to clean out the ends. Uh, that's the router plane. So I would suggest do your lid first because it's the shallower one. Uh, and then your finished cut on the lid is probably your starting cut for the base.